Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Also, like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. All right, you guys. So I already went ahead and just, I was shuffling some cards and they fell out. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and take them because they're really good messages. They're very powerful messages. And um, I feel like they're going to, this is not a surface day. Okay, that's what I want to start off by saying. This is not just a surface day. This is so much deeper um, today on, what are we, on September 8th, 2020. We're building up to tomorrow, which is going to be the Mars retrograde, okay? So with that said, I feel like what you guys are needing to understand is there is a higher power that is here that is guiding you along that you know your intuition is what is guiding you and spirit is saying like i've got your back i'm here to protect you i'm here to help you it's sending in the white wolf and the white wolf is all about confidence guidance trust your uh trust your intuition freedom resilience stamina and believe in your power and there's twice now higher power and believing in your power there's that word right there twice so i feel like be careful not to throw your power around and use it to the detriment of others you don't want to like basically push your way through what you want to do is you want to see this person is in a place of surrender okay you have to understand that we have the sun in Virgo right now and we have Neptune in Pisces and that is like magic happening right now. And it's talking about just imagining. Imagine what your life would be like. What would make you feel like you're in a place of, of euphoria, so to speak, because that's kind of how I see this is a place of euphoria. Allowing yourself to just check out and allow the universe to do its job. Allow it to work behind the scenes. And I feel like that's what this is all about. But it's almost like on the human realm, you have, feel like you have to push for everything. And it's saying like uh, queen of earth. And you could be maybe dealing with a Taurus, which is, but we are, you, we have Uranus in Taurus right now. So it's a year from now during the spring. So the timing is a year from now during the spring from April 22nd to May 21st, the ruling planet would be Venus. So Venus is getting ready to enter Leo. So there's going to be, uh, you know, I think it'll be a little bit more exciting conversation. And it's all about stable, stubborn, possessive, persevering. See, there's that word again. Um, yeah, this one's all about stamina. And this one's all about persevering. Down to earth, physical, sensual, strong, prosperous, and dependable. This is the Hierophant. Okay? So this could be about like contracts and things like that, that you are persevering through. But I feel like, like I said, you need to just take a step back. That's what this is all about. This is surrendering to the divine and allowing the divine to align what it is that you have coming in. Like I said, Virgo is, you know, the practicality of the doing, but Pisces is all about calling it down from the spirit realm. And we have this higher power. So from, from a higher source and you, with Venus here, it's a gift. And I feel like, you know, we have the raccoon here next. And the raccoon is the problem solver, curious, asking questions, adaptive, creative, entrepreneur, resourceful, clever, okay? The queen of sword, or the queen of uh, earth is also resourceful. I feel here, I feel like you need to get to the bottom of something because I feel like your intuition is telling you something. And I feel like you're going to have to be clever or maybe, you know, if you are this queen of earth and it doesn't just have to be a Taurus, this can be a Virgo Capricorn. Those are earth signs 
or you could be dealing with those signs or you could just be taking on the energy of earth which is grounded she's practical she's stable you know she can t turn a penny into a dollar easily you know uh, and the next card we have is the moon, fantasy, subconscious, romance, intuition, psyche, affection, recognition, invitation, sensuality, and divine feminine. So I feel like you need to allow things to come to you. And that's what this is like, the breathe, the higher power, the imagine. I feel like, you know, it, it goes back to the things that I've been saying earlier about how not everything has to be so hard won. Sometimes you could just like allow yourself, let it come to you. So for some of you, you might feel a little spacey today. I'm kind of seeing that where it's like you just really need to take a, a moment out. And I think you really need to, uh, you know, it's like you want to persevere, but I feel like not all the answers are here because you also have to understand that the moon hides things. So you don't have all the information. And that's why it's saying ask questions especially with the hierophant because you don't want to sign a contract and then just be sitting on a contract forever and that's what i'm kind of seeing here I'm, I'm almost seeing this as like a divine timing because number seven sevens are all about divine timing and this is a five you have two fives here which is all about uh, change created by outside forces beyond your control, but it's also obstacles. So two fives, you've got obstacles here that are in your way from making this happen. But it's saying that these are here for a reason. The number seven is you're on the right path again, but you're going to have to understand that and have faith that there's a higher power that is guiding you. But I feel like, look, if you're trying to press forward, she's not in the stance of pressing forward. Neither is she. Okay? There's nothing here about moving forward. Everybody's at a standstill. And I almost feel like you've got to wait until... Because this is the future card. This feels like a very specific re reading today, you guys. You know, that's funny. The wolf howls at the moon. Yeah, even underneath here, it, you know, it talks about the magnifying glass. And it says, get more information, gain clarity, do your research, documents, examine the fine print, important details. Yeah, cross your I's and dot your T's. And especially when it comes to the Hierophant, because the Hierophant is all about... Um, you know, uh, stocks, bonds, hierarchies, uh, your bank accounts, you know, uh, contracts and things like that. So I almost feel like you need to do some research almost. And I feel like you really need to read the fine print. Because I feel like there's something hidden that you don't see, that you need to see in a different light. Yeah, this feels like a very specific message. So you have two fours here. Two fours are all about structure, stability, foundation, family, all right? But they're also the pillars, the foundation. So if you think about it, okay, and you, okay, two four, and they're the bookends. So you've got four and 22. Fours are stagnancy. Fours, so I'm talking about the fives down here, and the fives are all about um, change created by outside forces. But again, it's all about obstacles. Maybe your obstacle is part of like having like everything just kind of standing still. Fours aren't moving forward. <laughs> Not even this wolf is moving forward. So I feel like today is kind of a day of stillness. You need to get more information. And you need to trust and believe that you are exactly where you're supposed to be at this very moment. And everything that is happening around you is what is supposed to be happening. 
And I feel like this has been very uncomfortable for a lot of people. And I feel like that's why we need this day of surrender. Yeah, did you? I don't know if you heard that, but it sounded like something crashing down. Um, you know, I feel like if you continue to try and push forward, things are just going to crumble. And that's kind of what I got out of that sound. Okay. Hmm. Work on your stability, you know? Work on your stability, yes. But at the same time, um, you know, it's okay to take a step back. You don't always have to be constantly doing something. And I, you know, to get things done. And I feel like, you know, all too often we feel that if we're not up and doing something and, and you know, that things will never get done. And that's the thing is you end up running in circles and then the planets aren't supporting you. The planets aren't supporting you. You need to ask yourself why you feel like you have to constantly be busy doing something. Do something else. Maybe that's, maybe you're the block from this thing happening because you're constantly trying to run after it. You're not in a place of surrender. And that's what I'm seeing here. If, if you would just sit in a place of surrender and allow the higher power and source to bring it in, But, you know, the moon also brings in fear. But maybe this is romance for some of you. Maybe it's romance that you're wanting to come in and you just need to be, you know, in a place, uh, you know, and you want something stable. That's what the, uh, the queen of earth is all about. But I feel like if the universe has you single at this time, you just need to be in a place of surrender and understand that you're becoming the divine feminine. That's what that says right there. The divine feminine. And there she is. Okay. And I feel like somebody is definitely watching you. Because I feel like he's wearing sunglasses. And he's imagining a life with you. This person is imagining a life with you and wants to communicate with you. And I feel like, you know how I'm seeing, look at this, look at this. They both have praying hands. I think that they, you guys are praying for one another to come in. And look at, here's the new moon. And we have a new moon and look, the full moon. And uh, we have the new moon in Virgo. And we just had the full moon in Pisces. So again, I'm talking about bringing heaven and earth together. That's what Pisces is all about. It's the heaven and the earth because you have the, the grounded earth pentacles, you know? And it's kind of funny because you've got like Pisces up here. And if you look, Pisces up here, Virgo's down here. And you've got like Pisces, you know, higher power, uh, meditation, imagining, right? And then you're just realizing, like seeing yourself as if you already have it. That the higher power is bringing it in slowly but surely. But you know what? You've been overcoming these lessons and working on cleaning up whatever it is that has been holding you back. And so that's why these windows have not opened for you. But I feel like you are getting ready to ground this into the present, but at the same time, you ever, you have to realize that it's coming in and you, even though sometimes, you know, you may not be able to see it, you can feel it. And it's already, it's already in the fifth dimension waiting for you. All you have to do is align yourself to it and, and keep doing the work. Be mindful not to be so possessive and so stubborn, you know, when it comes to your relationships. And I don't care what kind of relationship this is. I feel like you need to surrender a little bit, okay? Have confidence. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pull a card for today. And then I'm going to be doing the love readings this week uh, a little bit different. I'm not going to be doing elementals. I'm just going to do random love readings. That's how I feel more comfortable. I don't like doing readings that are so specific to uh, like uh, um, 
a, a sp- specific horoscope right now. I'm just, I, I, I don't know. I've, I'm feeling really called to just do random love readings and see what comes out. And we'll try that maybe for a week. And I, like I said, I'm just going to be spontaneous with the channel and try new things. So, Spirit, please show me a love message. Okay. Love yourself first. Yeah, so I was talking about that earlier, you guys. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And I feel like it doesn't matter if you're in a relationship or not. I feel like that that is just common, okay? I, I think that's just common sense. And you know what? I feel like you guys need to go back to that childlike wonder, okay? I feel like for some of you, you need to go back to, you know, the innocence of a child even, so that you can flirt and have these heart to heart, you know, these are heart to heart conversations. And I feel like there is someone here that is watching you, that wants to talk to you, that wants to reach out. And maybe this person has children or maybe you have children. But look, I think that maybe if you guys had acted like children in the past, maybe this person is maturing. And I do feel like this person is definitely communicating for, with you uh, psychically. So for those of you who don't know who this person is uh, or you're working on manifesting this person in, you are definitely manifesting this person in. You know, for some of you, um, you know, for, you know what you do is you can save space and like I was talking to a friend earlier today we were down at the beach and that's why I'm all wet I just got out of the shower and I'm like I gotta do a reading because <laughs> I have messages for you guys I just felt cold and so anyway um I was telling her earlier I was like you know when you're in your car talk to him talk to the person it doesn't matter who you are when you're at home say hi honey I'm home Maybe it sounds crazy to some people, but what you're doing is you're saving space for this other person. Learning how to communicate with them for, on a higher level, okay? A higher level. They're getting your messages. Whether you believe so or not, those messages are definitely coming in. And I feel like the two of you, you know, you stare up at the moon at one another. Because I really, I do feel like the moon plays a significant role in, in the ebbs and flows of how it's bringing the two of you together. And I feel like this, this person, the, the person that you meet is definitely going to want something stable. For some of you, they're going to want a, um, a family with you. For others of you, they're going to want to, uh, you know, Maybe the two of you already have children or one of you has children and just it's a com combined family. But you have to be in this place of surrender in order and learning how to love you first so that you don't have all that extra baggage when you come into this new relationship. You know, baggage of people who wronged you in the past, baggage of people who, you know... You don't want to have childhood, you know, your childhood drama coming back into these, you know, into this relationship. You want to imagine what it's going to be like when all of this is gone. So it's like doing your work, clearing out those bills, getting, you know, working on your stability, you know, you know, working on your bank account at this time, building your own empire. Uh, you know, I feel like I said, I and I, I'm strongly saying, like, I feel like this has to do with there is somebody for some of you who is has been watching you and admiring you and watching your growth. And I feel like this person almost puts you on a pedestal as well. Because, you know, the the queen of earth, the earth sign, you know, feminine, she is grounded. And she's good with her money. And she, you know, it works with her resources. And I'm not saying if you got a bunch of fire in your chart that you're not. Because again, we all have it in there, whether we have planets in that house or not, we all have an active earth in our chart. And it's just a matter of, some of us, it takes a little bit more to activate it, you know, but 
working on those things. And like I said, cleaning out old karma so that you're not bringing that into new relationships. So I'll be curious to see if this moves on to the love reading I'm going to do after this. So stay tuned, you guys. This sounds like your story and you are interested in a personal reading. Check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootsteps2peace.com. Like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. Hit that notification bell and you guys comment. Let me know how these readings are working out for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching and I'll chat with you again later and tomorrow.